So we're going to talk a little bit about polynomials, you know, a little bit about those bad boys there. So a polynomial is basically a monomial, so one term, or a sum of monomials. So you have a few examples down here. For example, negative 4. That's a monomial, which falls into the realm of polynomials. Uh, you've got 2x plus 5. That's actually what's called a binomial. So there's a monomial and another monomial. Two monomials make a binomial. That's fun. And that also falls into the family of polynomials. And over here, once again, another binomial. And down here, look at this. We've got 1, 2, and 3, basically things added together. Three terms added together would be the math word for things. So terms, three terms here, which makes it a trinomial. And we'll talk more about the names by terms and degrees later. But it falls into the family of polynomials. One thing to note here is all of our degrees, meaning our exponents, are integers. So this would be like 2. This would be like 1 there. If there's no exponent, for example, or no variable, no exponent, for example, this uh, negative 4, it's kind of like it's negative 4x to the 0. And 0 is still an integer. So all these are polynomials for that reason. Their exponents are positive integers, or really there's nothing there, it's a zero. They can't be negative, they can't be fractions, you can't have them in the denominator, things like that. And we'll look at some non-polynomials here in a sec. So here's a few examples of non-polynomials. If you notice in this first one, it has a negative exponent. That's a no-no. Here, we have an x in the denominator. That's a no-no. It's basically like if you were to bring this x up to the numerator, it would be 2x to the negative 1. So again, negative exponent, no, no. Here, square root of x. That's not a polynomial. That's like x to the 1 half. So again, 1 half is an exponent. That's a no, no. Can't have fractions. Here, we have the x up in the exponent. That's an exponential equation, which we'll deal with at another time. I know you're looking forward to it, but again, not a polynomial. Now let's classify our polynomials, and then we'll get to some example problems in some later videos. So if we're classifying by number of terms, one term is going to be a monomial. And an example of that would be something like 3x, that's a monomial, or 5, that's a monomial. The next one will be a binomial, which has two terms. So a binomial has two terms. And then, lastly, we have a trinomial. That's the last of our specific names by number of terms. So trinomial has three terms. And there's lots of different examples for trinomials. They just have to have three terms. So that's the first part of classifying them. The second part would be by degree. Degree meaning our exponent. So if you look at this one here, it is a constant. There's no x or any other variable, so its degree is 0, and it's called a constant. The second one is linear. It has a degree of 1. Remember, if we don't have an exponent up there, it's really like it's a 1. So it's 2x to the first. It's linear. Quadratic has a highest degree of 2. Cubic has a highest degree of 3. Quartic, 4. Quintic, 5. And then beyond that, we don't have you guys actually remember the names. We're just going to go 6th degree, 7th degree, 8th degree, so on and so forth. Okay? So we could actually name, when we name these, we're going to use two names. <clears throat> so for this one right here, we would call it a quadratic trinomial because it has three terms. Quadratic trinomial for this one. Here, it's a cubic, and it has one, two, three, four terms. So four terms falls into the realm of polynomial. We just generalize it as polynomial from four terms and up. So it is a cubic polynomial. If you hop down to this one here, this is a sixth degree binomial because it has two terms. Fun stuff. Awesome. And it's always important to write these in standard form, meaning highest degree down to the lowest degree. It starts at 3, 2, 1, 0. Awesome. All righty.